Welcome to another video by My Everyday Tech. My name is John and today I'm going to talk about the Poker 3 RGB's bit switch functions. Of course, this uh, applies to the non-RGB variant of the Poker 3 as well. Uh, let me just unplug the keyboard and show you the bit switch underneath the keyboard. Yes, as you can see, uh, there's an opening here for you to access the bit switch. There are four switches underneath here and all by default is turned to off. The switch 1 and switch 2 are for you to change the uh, keyboard layouts. Let's say Comac, Devorek or your by default the Curity. So I'll just leave you uh, an image extract from the uh, Vortex user manual. It's a very straightforward uh, how you can configure the switches. The third switch is for you to make the caps lock as the FN key as well. So let me just show you right now. Uh, plug in the, the keyboard here. Now, by default, your FN key and PN key located here. You can use this uh, FN key to use all the secondary uh, layer functions such as the arrow clusters and the media keys over here and pause, insert, delete. HR, page now, something like that. Secondary functions are clustered over at the right hand side. Sometimes you can find it a little bit of uh, awkward if you want to use clusters over here. So now you can turn the switch tree to on by just flipping it, the, the switch. And right now, your caps lock behaves as the function key. Let's say you, your, your function key still remains here. But right now you can press this, uh, the caps lock, and use this. I believe uh, that's uh, because if you are using the the caps lock is not the, the most used keys, so you can use this and press the insert, delete, or any kinds of functions. You can even change layers. Uh, there are four layers over here. This is kind of uh, convenient if you think the the function key over here is not so. Uh, it's an awkward place for you. Moving on to the fourth, uh, I'll turn off this uh, meanwhile. Uh, the fourth switch is an interesting one because on the uh, Pope, the Vortex website, the user manual did not even uh, properly mention the steps how to use the fourth switch. And it took me some time to actually find out how it, it actually works. The user manual only states that if you turn on the the deep switch, the fourth deep switch, you can map the FN key and PN key to any other keys on the keyboard except a, a few of those. Uh. You cannot apply to the uh, default uh, layer of this, the default layer, because for some reasons the default layer is uh, hard coded. You cannot change, you cannot remap all the keys uh, except all the, the switch tree functions. But you can apply this to the, let's say, layer 2 layer 3 or layer 4 so let's say I want to change to remap in layer 2 remap the FN key and PN key to other key first you need to switch to your specific layer unplug the keyboard turn on the, uh, the fourth deep switch after you turn it on plug your keyboard in Ah, right now you can see that only the FN and PN key is turned on, which means that we are now in uh, mapping mode. All the switches that uh, had uh, LED lights up means that you can map to the switch, except let's say the shift menu, uh, the PN key control, and caps lock you are not allowed to map it to. So let's say I want to map my function key to let's say my windows key here right now my fn is moved over here already pn key of course you can as well you can switch it to somewhere else let's say here i want my fn here pn here it's fine actually so to save this uh, configuration uh, you don't have to unplug you just turn off the, uh, the fourth hit switch and of course you can see the uh, led lights turns back on right now if I press this FN key, you, as you can see, uh, I have no longer have any kinds of uh, 
access to the secondary function. But if I press this and use the keyboard, recognize it because this is not right now. This is my FN key already. Same goes if I want to switch to another layer. Yes, it switched to another layer, but you have to remember the FN key on this particular layer. Let's say this is our third layer. The FN key is still here, so you have to remember you have to use this FN key to switch to other layers. Uh, let me switch back to layer 2. This is layer 2, my FN key is over here. You know, uh, that mapping only applies to that particular layer. Uh, to change back, of course, uh, it is the same thing. I still need to change back to a layer 2, uh, unplug the keyboard, turn on. Fourth big switch, plug in the keyboard, we map it back FN and PN. Turn off the switch, and there we have it. One very important thing to uh, take note is when you map your FN and PN key to any other keys. That doesn't mean that uh, you are swapping them. Let's say I want to put my FN key at M. Your M will gone forever because your M will not be switching over here. This key, FN, when you map it to the M, this key will become your Windows key. Same goes to this menu. If you uh, map your PM key, uh, PN key to A, this key will simply become the default, the Windows menu key, and your A will gone forever. So that's one thing to take note on this uh, the fourth deep switch. So I hope the explanation uh, actually helps you if you happen to look in some kind of uh, programmable way to customize your keyboard. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this because I still have uh, other videos such as the programmability and the LED uh, customization for the Poker Tree. I'll see you guys in the next one.